Oh, 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 for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. No! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Dumb Florida moron. Yeah. But your father owns half of Florida. How are you part of the working class? Like I said, possessions are not important at all. I'll pick up a hitchhiker in my convertible any day. The other day, I picked up a young woman and we discussed a non-violent solution to war. We called it peace. Your father is a great man. He's done more for the arms trade in this state than anyone else, myself included. And you shame him with the socialist... Get down the hell! Remember Giorgio? Remember he's innocent? <laughs> well, you could let them off. Marvelous. Great. That's a sensible plan. Then they wouldn't be guilty anymore. We have been doing that for years, you idiot. How do you think we'd keep prison costs down? They ain't by magic or cooking the books. We save that for education. But, as in most things, we in government are saving money so that you don't have to. When we spend less money on services, more goes to administration salaries and expenses, which helps make lives a lot less difficult for everybody. It's about sharing. Sharing your taxes out amongst the select few. That's why I worked so hard at school, so I could reap the rewards now. Mm, I thought you worked hard at school because the other kids laughed at you and called... Innocent until I say otherwise. Ah! To a bill allowing the manufacture and sale of giggle cream, a dessert with potential lethal consequences. Uh, not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. So, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect each other, to act safely in society? And how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. I'm gonna talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people will forget all about it. I'll remind people that I have a great haircut, and that under my stewardship, Vice City has had, on average, 15% better well... Sunny, how's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. 
What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? Of <laughs> <Once. laughs> I thought they were throwing you idiots off the force. Thank 
Southwest 